it's true I've been very very naughty been incredibly remiss uh, I've been meaning to do a bamboo update for quite some time and I did promise a few people that I'd get onto it so uh, it's pig hot at the moment I need to put my bins on so I'm going to flick the camera around pop over to said bamboo and uh, talk you through the five years that have passed since we popped it all in that is Betty Swallows. Whoo, Toon's busy over yonder in the goat house. She's uh, cleaning the house out. I've been just using our new wonder trolley. Still yet to think of a name for it. It's uh, parked up over there. It's got its own garage. And it's been brilliant so far. First day I've been using it. Carrying bucket, big buckets of water for the goats and big buckets of poop for all the palms which are looking good but as i said it's a it's a bamboo update nothing to do with palms but don't they look nice we haven't had any rain we've been uh, pumping water out the lake a uh, certain legend aka macraman is back tomorrow and he's got four days to dig the lake finish the lake before the rains come again so uh, more about that coming up right here's the bamboo here so five years five years it's been in and to give you a, a sort of like summary really of, of, of how it went the, the first year we put it in uh, bang in the middle of a dry season excellent planning Lee and Toon as usual and we weren't living on the farm at the time uh, we, we stuck in over a hundred I think it was about 110 120 uh, that was after an initial test of about eight months of this same variety of bamboo, the Taiwan bamboo, uh, the back of our village house in the garden there. We were so impressed with it. Uh, we plumbed for, for this variety. So we popped it in. Now the first year uh, we weren't organic on the farm and uh, we sprayed. We sprayed weed killer, uh, the dreaded Roundup. And uh, yeah, so after that uh, we didn't, but we did get Caesar, the old... Kubota tractor which I'm sure most of you remember fondly he's still alive and kicking with the uh, original owner he's the guy who bought it back off us and uh, yeah it was in the uh, local paddy field the other day it's brilliant to see the old boy again uh, so I, I was plowing in here to control the weeds uh, uh, the year after that uh, we had the really big drought and I never really wanted to irrigate this bamboo forest, if you can call it that. We've got about 100, I think we're down to about 140, 145 plants now. Um, but we were nearly losing it, so uh, we, we put all the irrigation in. And don't you know, two weeks later the flipping rains came. So we had a six month drought, which uh, really, really knocked it back. Uh, uh, and then of course, once uh, we stopped ploughing in here and the rains came uh, the weeds really took hold so we paid uh, three people to come in here and clean it uh, and, and they cut through all the uh, irrigation pipe work so it's not not really their fault it was just so weeded up you couldn't see it <clears throat> uh, now after that we had a year of keeping the herd of young goats in here so we had at one point, I think we had roughly 25 uh, small goats and we were running short of pasture for them. So we kept them in here and they ate all the leaves that fell on the floor. They also ate any low hanging leaves on the lower branches like this stuff here. They stripped that off and some of the young bamboo that we put in from cuttings um, they, they killed them. We tried to fence them off, but little goats and little sods. Uh, we have lost a few. You see this one here has died, uh, but we're not replacing them. We've got more than enough bamboo in here. And yeah, I don't, I don't know whether we'll plant anything else in here instead of that. But yeah, we, we're just, uh, we haven't bothered cutting it out um, because I'm using going to be using some of these for little posts for our floating hyacinth beds in the lake so this is all going to get used the little bits that can't be used for that they're going to end up as high class biochar 
So on to year five, this has been the first year where I would class the canopy as closed. Beautiful. Now remember, this is still the dry season, so we have had a bit of a, uh, a unexpected rainfall a couple of weeks ago for almost two weeks, and uh, it burst back into life as bamboo does pretty quickly. So this isn't it isn't as dense as it normally is. But the beauty of bamboo is the mulch. So this is the first year that we've had a full fall of bamboo leaves. Fantastic, you can see even underneath, some of them are starting to break down. Uh, this hasn't been fed this time around because we had the goats in here so much, we let them do the business. So prior to that, I'd mulched it uh, with chippings, I put biochar, goat muck. Previous to that, I'd used straw, or grass cuttings, weeds, anything we could get my hands on. Uh, leaves that we'd brushed and collected off the, the road for falling from the government trees there. Really mounded them up, but the climate out here in Thailand, certainly where we are, everything breaks down so, so quickly. I mean, our shredder, when we do wood chips, and it's generally the leukina, the bits that the goats don't eat. It, it's it's quite a coarse chop, and even even with that being so coarse, it still breaks down within about four or five months around the uh, the base of the the bamboo. So it's it was a constant battle to try and keep the the uh, the clumps all covered up. So that's clumping bamboo. This is. Everything's had a few wheelbarrows of biochar mixed in with the, uh, the goat muck. Yeah, it's all the good thing is with having the goats in here, they trample on it and break it all, all down, work it into the soil. Right. It's not really compacted here. It's it's the roots are so are so coarse, so dense from the, uh, the bamboo. You can see very very shallow roots root systems will be going all the way across and touching each other so if i remember rightly we went was it five meters by four meters or three meters by four meters something like that and i think it's just about right my memory is terrible one of the beauties of having so much bamboo in a small area well i would say it's about about a rye it is so cool in here and it is, your, your skin is melting out there at the minute, but in here it is beautiful. So I am thinking uh, a few areas around the lake, certainly where we're going to be setting up some areas for fishing, we may sort of like uh, surround it with a couple of clumps of this stuff or, or some similar types of, of bamboo. Yeah, so um, as far as harvesting goes, it hasn't been prolific, as prolific as it should be because of those things, you know. It, it, I mean, we're supposed to let four new uh, shoots grow every single year till you get to 16. Uh, and any, anything over four per year, then you take those out. But we were taking more out if they weren't growing in the right place. If I just show you here, what we like to try and do is give each, give each shoot plenty of room so it's not growing on top of each other uh, these i mean now i mean the size of these i mean these are going to be fantastic building materials uh, going to be having using a lot of uh, fencing materials on the farm over the next year or so but it's looking so so good very very happy and you can see it's just so so deep in here now what i have done sometimes is just to make sure that we get a little bit of selenium in our compost is i come and get a few wheelbarrows of this and just just add it to it you see a lot of ants break down any timber that's fallen on the floor but they don't tend to get the uh the leaves 
Uh, yeah, we try, well, I just try to leave everything that falls onto the floor in here. Goat poo wise, tomorrow will be the last day uh, for me. Oh no, I've got two, two more days to finish fertilising uh, 49 palm, no, 50 palm trees. So all of those have been getting a huge bucket of goat muck uh, from the, from underneath the goat house. Uh, uh, after that, then I'm going to start the process of fertilising every single uh, bamboo clump, which is going to take quite some time, but it's another reason why we got our super trolley. Yeah, excellent. As far as weeds go now, um, we let the goats in here every now and again, uh, and they... They go to town on this stuff. This is like a really wiry bush. It's here all year round. Once the rain comes, it really gets going. And same with the old dog trump climbing weed. This is like wire, but the, the goats love it. They'll eat quite a bit of the uh, the stringy stuff, the, sort of like the foot, uh, the growing tip, the last foot. Um, but they'll pick the leaves off, all of them right down to the base so they, they can kill it off um, if you let them in regularly can't let them in here too often because as i say they'll when you get the new the new shoots and the new leaves on the on the bamboo then then they'll have them i don't mind the lower leaves but the new shoots they they gnaw on the end of them and quite often then they they they, they don't develop I'll, I'll just try and find one for you so one like this uh, when they're young they'll they'll just bite the the end off which is quite sweet uh, and then but if, if they if they keep nibbling it it won't have a chance to to grow anymore uh, they haven't damaged this one uh, this is what just happens with this Taiwan bamboo it just grows all year round if the moisture is present um, so if you're getting heavy rainfall it just keeps on growing and growing um, and then when it's a dry period, anything that's started to grow, if it runs out of water, then it they just get knocked back. And uh, the bugs seem to, to break it down quite quite quickly. As far as termites go, still only one termite mound, and it started to break down quite a lot. It's not actually affecting the bamboo. In fact, this is weird, isn't it? It's the biggest clump we've got out of the whole lot. So, you know, I, I was tempted to take it down, but this this type of termite and this uh, this sort of soil, uh, we get the uh, the termite mushrooms growing here every year. As far as harvesting goes, uh, two two aspects really, uh, the building material side of things really really good now, uh, and then you know just coming out and picking it when you want to eat it. Uh, Toon also preserves them to sour bamboo. And she also gives some to her mum uh, and she she burns the outer bits uh, and then boils them up with a green leaf and preserves them that way. They're, they're really good. Um, and we send a lot um, via the post office to uh, members of Toon's family. So depending on what time of year, you know, bamboo can be like 50 baht a kg. Uh, and that's just raw bamboo that you still have to peel and boil. So, yeah, if we can... Um, we can help members of the family out then great and, and anytime anyone visits us then we, there you go there's a knife going go and help yourself uh, we do sell a little bit but again it's until it's all mature like this this year should be great um no, we don't really we don't really push it a bit like everything else really um we got same with the limes i mean we give a lot of stuff away it's uh, You've never done it, give it a go, it's infectious. <laughs> it makes you feel better than putting 100 baht in your pocket. This year is going to be different. We are we are finally irrigating. There's a, there's a tractor coming soon. I know, a no-till farm. We're going to be tilling. More about that when it when it all happens. Uh, but it's the, the, the fodder system. We've already been busy putting it in the last couple of weeks. It's just too much hard work, so... Uh, and it's too slow um so we've been irrigating the land ready for the trap there's gonna plow everything put everything we'll, we'll stick all the napier grass in 
uh, and then every time we cut it if the soil is dry then we'll be irrigating as well so we're gonna have some major pipe work and uh, pumps set up that we can move around the farm and uh, part of that will, be, will involve um, irrigating the bamboo so hopefully we can, we can grow it all year round then which was always the idea I think that's it for bamboo I don't know why I didn't do it earlier easy wasn't it take care guys hope you're all well and uh, see you again soon